Hello, my name is Dani Yuta, and uh, this is Maitre Bandi. And my, yeah, Maitre Bandi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we want to talk to you uh, today about how to work with the situation we're in. We're in this incredible situation that's um, well, it's very uncertain. Mm-hmm. There's a lot, and what I'm noticing, what a lot of my friends are noticing, is a, a lot of anxiety. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, it's a time of anxiety. It's an age of anxiety. Mm-hmm. Um, lots of people are feeling it. Um, I mean, what I've been noticing is how people respond to their anxiety in, in lots of different ways. So what we want to do in this short video is talk a little bit about how to work with your anxiety in these un- uncertain times. Mm. Yeah, so one of the first things um, all of us need to do, uh, my Trabanda needs to do, I need to do, probably you need to do, is just to see if you can notice the symptoms of anxiety. So mm. particularly notice um, if you get into a little bit of an aggressive or demanding state. Um, I think one of the symptoms of an- anxiety is bullying. So if you find yourself going, I only have or... Um, I definitely need this by this time. Just notice that, oh, okay, I'm probably a bit anxious right now. Um, hmm. yeah, and so then, then you can work with it. Yeah, it's interesting. When, so I think you can push when you're anxious. Some people sort of go to bed, don't they, when yeah. they're anxious. They just yeah. sort of put themselves under the duvet and sort of hide when they're, they're feeling anxious. I mean, one of the things to learn, as, as, as Donna Utah is saying, is working out what the symptoms are and how you intend to express it mm. and starting to become self-aware about that because working with anxiety is a massive issue in our life irrespective of the coronavirus mm-hmm. we're going to need to really learn to work with our anxiety so one way of talking about it or one way of working with it is to start to learn to feel it mm. especially feel it in the body notice what it does to your breath what it does in your throat the word anxiety is actually related to your throat it means it comes from a root which means to choke mm. So when you get anxious, you start not being able to speak properly, you know. So yeah. uh, really notice how it, anxiety kicks off in your body, how it affects your emotions, and see if you can train yourself to be with that more, mm-hmm. uncomfortable though it is, yeah. um, rather than reacting out of that habitually and unawarely. Because if you react out of it habitually and unawarely, unawarely usually you make things worse. Yeah. So I actually noticed this morning, um, you know, because I communicate through um, computers and my mm. phone a lot, instead of like my throat going tight, I was typing really, really fast, like, <laughs> yeah. and very, very noisily. Um, so, you know, that's another thing that you might want to notice. Mm. And, um, you know, what we're trying to practice is not to react to the anxiety, but also if you do, um, if you do react or if other people act out of their anxiety towards you, um, the best thing that you can do is just to apologize mm. and also to ask for forgiveness. Um, I think one of the things that we need to do in the in a time when we're spending quite a lot of time with uh, maybe people who you don't spend a lot of time with, say like with your housemates or with your family when you're um, sort of self-isolating as a household, um, is that uh, mistakes happen. Um, we sort of um, we sort of bump up against each other, if you like. And what we really all need to do is just to learn to forgive each other much, much more. Yeah, I mean. If, if we learn that mm. during this, you know, this, this difficult part time, if we started to learn any degree of the capacity to forgive, that's mm. a lifelong thing to learn, you know, it's a mm. valuable thing to learn. I mean, the other thing I was thinking is, um, you know, especially if, if you are self-isolating or, you know, you're, you're there with just your partner or, you know, you're there with your, just your family, mm. it's very, the obvious thing that happens is clashes in communication. Mm. People feel under pressure, they feel... Uh, threatened and anxious and it's very easy to start blaming each other yeah. blaming the state blaming the government yeah. getting into so one of the things I often try and do is just try and slow down the communication yeah. um, when, when you start reacting off each other the, the communication all kind of speeds yeah. up so that might be another thing you might do to mm-hmm. work with being anxious is just check that your communication is not speeding up too much yeah so the main thing to do um, if, you, if you want to notice what happens in your day is just to notice the symptoms of anxiety. Um, be willing to feel it and not react to it. Um, and then slow down communication and forgive as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
So um, here at the London Buddhist Center, we do rely a lot on people coming through the, our doors and putting money into our donation bowls. At the moment, um, we're moving a lot of our teaching online, um, and obviously no one's really coming through the doors and putting money in our donation bowls. So if you have enjoyed this particular video, this particular series of videos, see if you can just um, make a little donation to the LBC, particularly standing orders. That will really help us um, at a time like this. Yeah, great. So thanks very much. Bye. Bye-bye.